74. And I hear by the call that they said the Hamlet Nick Vibe is duly elected as Councillor to the Great Council. I think this will be incredibly disappointing for the Cameron has been to Bolton many times over the last few months. He's really tried to get his message across to make an effect, and I think the people of Bolton have seen through that. What they want is substance, they don't want salesmanship. They want real policies in a time of you know, very difficult economic times. When they understand that when there's a credit crunch, when um, fuel prices are rising, food prices are rising, and they're really feeling the pinch, they need a government that knows what it's talking about, that has the policies to deal with, uh, with those issues. Um, so I think it would be a very disappointing night for the It's clearly a very good night. For the and do you think that's going to be reflected across the country? Do you think Bolton is you know, an indicator of other councils across the country? Well, if Cameron to win the next election, has got to be able to take places like Bolton. I'm sure there will be a mixed bag of results across the country tonight. Um, and I know that you know, in the midterm of elections, people want the government to listen. They want the government to understand how difficult it is for them and to react to the course of the But I do think that the uh, Conservatives have been banking on winning places like Bolton, and they'll be very, very disappointed indeed. Right, and so would you say then that this was this, this, was just, this wasn't an election on local issues, it was an election on national issues? Well, clearly there's been local factors, I think, for leadership there. I know that Kate Mears, who's led the council over the past couple of years, has really set out what I think is a very exciting and ambitious manifesto, including keeping keeping council takes down, not increasing it at all next year. Now, I know that voters, especially in difficult economic times, they want value for money from a Labour Council, and that's what Labour is delivering here, as well as pledges and free school meals and free school. So very clear policies which relate directly to people's lives, and I'm sure that's happening. Uh, I think too, in what are very difficult times, they're also looking to uh, the Labour government to help them see, see them through those times. And do you think the local party might be slightly disappointed that they didn't take the gains from the Conservatives and, you know, to have a... To have a well, we're increasing the number of seats we have. We now hold 27. Uh, so, now I think Labour you know, has held on to its seats and has managed to make a game. That was a very good result for uh, mid term elections. So, of course, we're always ambitious to do more. Uh, and it's a good result for Labour here in Baltimore. That's great. Thanks so much.